One of the co most common reactions that we find for amines is the diazotization reactions. And so once you form a diazonium salt for amine, then you can do a whole lot of things on the, the uh, nitrogen or on the carbon, actually. So uh, here what we have is uh, an isopropyl benzoic acid para, isopropyl benzoic acid. And so how do you get a benzoic acid on there without doing the oxidation, right? So uh, an amine group is generally the best answer for this one. So let's go ahead and write this sequence out. And I'm going to write each of the reactions out so you can actually see it, but otherwise you can also do it as one, two. But let's go ahead and get started with this because right here we can see that we are forming a diazonium salt. So form a diazonium salt, the first thing you need to do is nitration. So HNO3, H2SO4. And once you have the nitration, then you have to do reduction. So again, you can use tin chloride or you can use LAH. Either one of those is fine. And so this one will give us NH2. To go from an amine group to a diazotized uh, salt, now you need to have sodium nitrite and you need to have HCl at zero degrees Celsius. Now you can also write HONO, HONO if you want to, but then uh, make sure you write it like this, okay, in square brackets, because that tells you it doesn't really exist as such. You have to form it in C2. So this is the first part of the reaction where you are just forming the diazonium salt. So yeah, it takes about two or three steps. Essentially, it's not that much. It doesn't take that long to do it in the lab. Now for the second part. In the second part, you have to go from the diazonium salt to the carboxylic acid. There is no direct route for this. So we're gonna have to do this in two steps, okay? And so the first step is going to be where we do the sand Mayer reaction using cyano group and so we add a CN here and so this is what we end up getting a nitrile group now the nitrile group we can go ahead and do hydrolysis on this one to give us a carboxylic acid so that is the entire synthesis now if you wanted to you could okay once you start getting comfortable with all of these you can write these as one two and then this is the third part, right? Right there on the arrow, that's totally fine. And this is one, and then this is two, so you can write that on the arrow, and that is just fine. Uh, but in the beginning, it's kind of nice to see what you're forming at each step, so you can follow along, okay? This is this wonderful little synthesis.